year it has been. I'm not talking about the Julian calendar. I'm talking about the reality that you and I both, Brad, live in. What an interesting year it has been for Legion. I'm not quite certain if Legion even still exists anymore outside of Isaiah. But Isaiah is here. He is channeling those dark forces. And perhaps he can ride them all the way to the finals. And if he does, we won't have royalty. We'll have a Night King. Absolutely. Isaiah, of course, beat Tommy Bolton in the opening preliminary rounds of this Rise to Wrestling tournament, Rise to Wrestling Royalty tournament. But now he's got a massive opponent. And his opponent from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 265 pounds, Edge Stone. You know, the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, it sits a few feet below sea level, Brad Gilmore. Right? Just a couple. <laughs> One of the reasons for that might be because this man is walking the streets. <laughs> Ed Stone is one of the largest athletes in the game today, and he brings the power. What a remarkable athlete. Wow, look at him, Matt DePaul. And that's why he's my favorite to win this tournament. For the first time, I think, in reality of wrestling history, you and I finally agree on something. I just don't see anybody who's going to be able to take down Ed Stone. Power, size, agility, ability, this man's got it all. And I'm gonna tell you something else too. Ed Stone is the one competitor that I see in this bracket where there's no history, there's no ill feelings, there's no grudge to be settled, okay? He can focus on the task at hand and the task alone. And I think having that strategic mental advantage along with the physical advantage he holds over every other competitor in this tournament makes him the odds on favorite to become royalty. I mean look 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 at the look at the face of Isaiah. I mean Isaiah can tap into supernatural abilities at times and he's gonna have to conjure up every evil voodoo spirit that he knows to beat Edge Stone here this evening. I mean they're both from New Orleans. I mean or at least Edge Stone's from New Orleans, Voodoo's from New Orleans. Maybe uh, there's some crossover effect here. Very possible that Isaiah is from a cemetery in New Orleans. Well, look at that. I think Isaiah trying to play some mind games with Big Edge Stone. Edge Stone picks him up in a very unenviable position. Oh, jeez, man. Wow. Oh, look out, look out! Oh! Well, fans of the Hall of Fame on ESPN with Booker T need to call Jerry Bow and place some bets on Edge Stone. I think he's the odds on favor right now in Vegas to win this tournament. I think it's about too late to make any money on this prediction. Oh, my Lord. Before this match started, I talked about what was left the Legion. There it goes. Isaiah. Well, Isaiah though, oh, big move right there. Desperation, whatever it takes, because he was getting killed in there. If y'all are just joining us, this is a quarterfinals match, and look at that, he caught him. He caught him in midair. There was a human lawn dart flying at him, and Ed Stone picks up Isaiah. Oh, wait a second. A heard it, Conrana sends Ed Stone into those steel steps. They landed on top of him, and what is, Oh! Stop to the middle of the back from Isaiah. And Isaiah rolls in, Edge Stone. This might be his only opportunity. Over here, one, two. Launched himself on the big man, wasn't enough to get it done. Referee having to break that up before the five count. Those closed fists illegal here at Reality of Wrestling. Smart move right there from Isaiah. A shot to the knee, then comes back with a haymaker to the temple. Ed Stone might be out here, no. Once again, if you're tuning in right now on the Reality of Wrestling YouTube channel and you're just joining us, this is the quarterfinals of the Rise to Wrestling Royalty. And Matt Polsky, we've already seen two people advance tonight. Brendan Steen has advanced into the next round, and so has Zach Mason. We saw an interesting interaction between him and Warren Johnson backstage after the match, but it seems like everything's cool for now. Absolutely.
absolutely. And the winner of this matchup will be facing Zach Mason in the next round. So one half of Team Fly Death moving on to the semifinals. And the rise to wrestling royalty, Isaiah, also hanging on and providing a DDT, which may send oh. him to the second round. Ed Stone, a mountain of a man and very difficult to keep down, and the match continues. And that is really the question right now. Is Isaiah really in this fight, or is he just point shaming? <laughs> no, Matt Topolsky, you know, I think that Isaiah, oh, look at that. Isaiah is a veteran. Ed Stone is still newer to the pro wrestling game. And Isaiah knows all the little tricks, all the little secrets, and to try to get any advantage that he can over Ed Stone. And he's using them to expert, or he's using them expertly right now, excuse me, against the big man. Thank everyone for joining us here tonight. We want to let you know that in addition to the Rise to Wrestling Royalty Tournament, four championships will be defended. The Diamonds title, the Television Championship, the Texas title, the Reality of Wrestling title. This is the blue label of professional wrestling. We are live from the World Gym Arena in Houston, Texas. Ed Stone trying to get back into it here, Brad. It was an impressive start, but it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And right now, Isaiah is in control. Isaiah looking for that another hurricane of Ed Stone. Oh my goodness! He turned it into a twisting sit-out power bomb, but did not have enough gas left in the tank to make the pin. Wrong, uncanny power from Ed Stone. But here's the thing, if the referee counts out both of these men, you would imagine that the Zag Nation would get a buy into the finals. That is absolutely correct. It is the same reason why there are time limits oh. on all of these matches in the tournament. We have to have a winner here tonight at the Rise to Wrestling Royalty. Look at that. The oh power. my goodness! A Samoan drop and move that ranks six feet! One, two, count! Oh no! Goodness. How did Isaiah kick out of that? Matt Topolsky, Ed Stone gave him everything that he had. At least we thought he gave him everything he had. Wow! Isaiah resembling a car accident victim right now. Incredible terminal velocity on that Samoan drop. Car accident victim, he's representing a, a zombie out of the walking dead. Isaiah proving that there is life after death with a big German suplex, but Stone jumped right up. Oh my God. Oh my God. When Isaiah turns around, he's going to look like he saw a ghost. Oh, there we go. Sit down, power bomb. This time he's got enough gas in that tank. Second round. Ed Stone Matopolsky shows why he came to play and why he may be wrestling royalty. That could be the next king of reality of wrestling. And if he is, I'm going to guarantee you this, Brad Gilmore, he won't need a bodyguard. Ed Stone, very impressive. We'll see him in the semifinals. I'm not exactly sure what we just saw. 